Hi again, Simon here. The last episode, I mentioned that uh, Solomon, Frozen was pushing Solomon to change room because it was too noisy where he was. It wasn't a brilliant room, it, it was all right. Um, but really noisy and lots of girls around. And Frozen and Ning were both sort of looking out for Solomon. They didn't want him getting into any trouble because he, he's been lucky so far, but you know, if he upset one of those Thai girls, they would all turn on him and it could be crazy. Frozen had said, go back to boss, get a different room. So, he thought, yeah, it's uh, a month now, he's paid already, he's got to go and pay the rent, he forgot about that. He's got to go and pay for the next month's rent and the bike. He's done his visa. So he thought, yeah, why not, I'll go and have a chat with this lady. And that older woman is called, I think it was something like Sue. We we'll call her Sue. It's almost next to Ning's. Anyway, Frozen rings Ning, and Ning's sort of been asleep again, and tells Ning what the plan is. And Ning said, ah, I'll go see, I'll meet you. So that's it. <laughs> Frozen and Ning are now controlling Solomon's life. <laughs> They've taken his life over. They've got him doing pool contests. Well, you know what they everything. So, Solomon jumps on the bike, frozen, off down to the bottom of Soy 4, where this go-go bar is. Park the bikes, Ning's there, she's only living next door. And it's frozen, Ning, and you walk in up the stairs, through the glass doors. And this is after lunch now, it's maybe two in the afternoon. When they go through the glass smoke doors, the bar's there and there's that goldfish bowl with a soapy massage. Anyway, they come in and uh, there's no customers as usual. It's quite a quiet place. There's some girls milling around. That, that one girl got her eye on Solomon. She's like waving at him now and he's like, oh, okay. <laughs> the, the boss, Sue, she's there, chatting away to her cashier, as usual, sat on that side of the bar. And in walks Solomon with two girls, you know, and. Sue, so this woman knows Ning very well, knows Frozen now. And the girls straight over to her, why her and anyway, they order some soft drinks. And the woman Sue's like, yeah, coffee. Anyway, a girl from the soapy girls comes running around and does all the drinks. Cashier's busy. And before Solomon says anything, <laughs> Ning and Frozen are already talking to her about room change and telling her why and what and this Sue said actually says to Solomon you're famous you're getting famous in that room people all the girls know you what have you been doing and she's like I don't know nothing and she laughed and she says um, you will change room and he says only for one month because I need to go um, back out the country. Maybe I do a tour. Or maybe I have it for more than one month. I don't know yet. Must plan next four weeks. She said, oh, okay, okay. I have two choice. One room, third road, brand new, apartment block. Business partner there, another woman, business partner. Brand new block. 16 or so apartments look same your room now everything same but new parking no girls <laughs> I, other people foreigners staying there she goes same money or <laughs> I have room here in Solomon just again now there on the, f the first floor, down below at the front, is a few beer bars. So they're behind the beer bars and above them. And there's three floors, the first, second and third floor. And just round from the door is long corridors going down and lots of rooms on all three floors. But they are soapy massage rooms. These are rooms that are uh, uh, like a... All they've got is a double bed, big bath, a very big tiled 
shower area and glass screen um, lavatory sink no kitchen area and that's it quite plush carpet in multiple colors that's the normal anyway anyway this Sue woman says have all these rooms and I can do for you free air conditioning no bills room and bike same same money which was what was uh, six and a half thousand but a month I think it was for the bike on the room which was great and so I was like uh, mm -hmm. soapy massage rooms what's he said can I look anyway so Sue so, yeah yeah so points to this one soapy girl this is the girl that keeps waving at him and smart very pretty girl a bit older she must be 36 37 beautiful girl anyway, Sue pulls her over talks to her and she goes behind and gets three four keys four keys said go with her and Ning and Frozen stay there they don't go it's like mm, okay so it just walks out they go up one floor to level two straight all the way down the corridor and there's a glass window and you look through the window there's the beach beach road the roads there there's the beach and there's two bars underneath again bars noise get to the end of this corridor this girl opens the right hand door in they go and is it's a sort of dead square room a glass section like a glass wall and in behind there's the, the sh all that shower and bath and all the rest of it big bath huge bath and double bed and there's a couple of drawer units and that's it but there's a window at the front big tree straight in front of the middle of the window but there's the beach anyway Solomon looks and it's a bit sort of dark and the walls are funny colours and he's like Pfft. She, they come out, she locks the door, over the other side, opens the next one, dead opposite, goes in, identical room, just the other mirror image, front window, no tree, can see the beach, and a side window, looking down to the soy at the side, that's nice, and he's like, hmm, and white walls, and she goes, better, pointing upstairs, anyway, she locks the door, comes out, Solomon goes out first, as, as he comes out, this girl pinches Solomon's arse. Pinch, sorry, ah, yeah, pinches. Yeah, and, he's, and she just grins and he's like, oh, God, here we go. Upstairs, front again, all the way down the corridor, right hand room, there's that tree again, the top of the tree. The other room, beautiful. It's been painted recently, it's a lot cleaner. Front window, beautiful sight, straight down to the beach window at the side is the soy you can see over the buildings next door and you can see down a bit a few buildings see a bit of the sea there really nice high up but parking on the bike is out on the street you're above a soapy massage and a couple of bars none of the rooms are taken by anyone else you think well that'd be really quiet really really quiet he thinks it's not bad he said it was you know at least i get some sleep here the money is air con it's a lovely room no kitchen or anything but it's all right always eat out anyway he thinks this can be a better room um he thinks, yeah anyway just to go okay down they go and she's sort of nudging him with her shoulder as he's walking down the corridor and joking and he's like you know, what's your game? What do you want? <laughs> what are you after? It's like, I don't even know. I'm not getting involved in soapy massage or anything like that. Thank you. Hey, end of the corridor, down the stairs, back in. And uh, the girl's already telling them all about the rooms and which ones he's seen. And he, he says to the boss, uh, the top room on the corner at the front is really nice. I like that room. Um, it's quiet and she says you want that room you can have that room same price and you can get your things moving I give you a key um, and she says I will let you have as well this is a key thing for Solomon 
free coffee anytime here in the bar. No, no drink, just coffee. And he's like, and it's filter coffee machine there. Nice coffee, free coffee. That did it for him. He's like, I'll take it. I'll have the room. And Frozen and Ning are like clapping their hands. And he's like, why? Because there's no girls around. You know, they can protect him more. Ha! Okay, he says, yep, yeah, I'll take the room. So pulls out another key, gives Solomon the key. He's like, thank you very much. Okay, I've got to pay you that. Yes, how comes the money? Luckily, he put that money under, he stashed back in his uh, pocket. Didn't leave it in the empty room. Paid one month and the bike. She said, bike okay? Yeah. Bike good. All happy. So he says, how much for the drinks? And she said, ah, you can have free today. So the girls got free drinks. Anyway, they all say goodbye. Out they go. And both Ning and Frozen, this good room, better for you. And Ning's like, next door to me. You know, next block. She's in the apartment block behind. Yeah, good. And then Ning said, you park your bike next to our apartment block. And they just walk up the road 20 metres. And there is a little bit of a car park. So you park your bike over there, corner. Okay. Cool. That's so Ning can keep an eye when he's out, you know, when he's out or in, maybe. I reckon. Anyway, so this is after lunch, mid-afternoon now. And they're like, get food. <laughs> Thai women. Oh, God. No, I don't want food. So you go get food. He said, I'm, I'm going to go room and pack room, get my bag and stuff. And then I'm going to move down now. And they're like, okay, we'll come see you in a bit. <laughs> yeah. So, jumps on his bike, on his own, back to his room. He's got nothing, he's just got his rucksack with his stuff. Anything he's stashed, he grabs it. Literally, two minutes to back his room up, a few toiletries. Grabs all his stuff, locks the room, key. And as he's coming down the top corridor, past the other girl's room, they're all, why are you bagged? Why are you bag? You know, why are you got your bag on your back? And he said, I'm moving. I'm, I leave. I'm going. And they're like, no, no. And he's like, yeah, yeah. And a girl comes out, gives him a cuddle, and he's like, yeah. And before he's got down the two flights of stairs, they're hanging over the top, shouting to the other girls. And then the other girls come up to him and, ah, cuddle. It's as if he's leaving the country. And he's like, I'm only moving down the road. But he didn't tell them. And they all sort of said bike to him, which was really nice. Jumps on his bike. Down the road. So down Soy 2, to the beach, slings the left, left again into 4. Puts the bike where Ning says. Comes back, up the stairs into the go-go. Not, yeah, a soapy massage, not a go-go. Goes into the soapy massage. Sue's there and he, there's the key for the room. Room's clean, it's okay. Thank you. Now I put my stuff in new room. And it's like, okay. Anyway, he goes up and literally throws his stuff down. Um, nothing really to unpack, just a few clothes. There's a couple of little three drawer units next to the bed, but there's no wardrobe or anything. So the stuff stays. However, in the corner next to this three drawer unit, on the floor is wife annoying me. Ah. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. And you know me, I won't edit that out either. Look at your editor. So yeah, there was a safe in the corner on the floor. And Solomon's like, oh wow. But it's a key one. Anyway, bends down and shakes it. It's bolted to the floor. Why don't they have a safe in the room? And no key. And he's like, right. Off he goes downstairs to Sue. I said, safe, I need safe, you have safe. She said, oh yeah, um, that room office before. Ah, can I have key for safe? She said, yeah, yeah. Cro leans across to the cashier, blah, blah, blah. Out comes another key. But it's another big key. It's like, and someone's like, I want to carry this with me everywhere. Said, no problem. Um, 
put in safe and then bring the keys leave here behind here but they're secure they lock them in a cabinet always someone here and he's like hmm don't know okay says okay anyway back up to the room unlocks the safe yep empty square box sorry about that square box safe usual and he thinks if I put stuff in there and the keys downstairs, any one of those girls could come up and just help themselves. So, okay, I'll probably put passport and a little bit of money in there. But I need a Thai bank. It'd be better to have a Thai bank account with an ATM. He thinks maybe just keep a few days, five days and back in there and his passport. Get a, he's got a first copy of passport in the pocket and in those days, you had to have your passport or a copy on you all the time when you're walking around. So he thinks, right, I can put passport. I'm going to go and see Sue again and see if she can help me with a bank account. And we're over time again. So I'm going to leave it there. Plus that noisy rain's not good for the video. I'll catch you on the next one. And bank account. Competition coming up. It's Jib, Jib. All these names, I'm getting so confused. Ning, um, gonna put some of her other girls onto Solomon, especially now he's living next door. Hmm. And there's that girl downstairs as well. See you on the next one. Bye.